You go on strike, you go to picket line, you hear somebody like me make a speech and you go home. I think we should make that day a festival in defence of the public sector and in defence of our communities. And that means going to those workplaces where workers are not on strike, holding lunchtime meetings, making sure that we use the fantastic uh, 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 anti-cuts committees that we've set up throughout the country. I know you've got uh, a really good one here in Swansea. And to make sure we get that message across. And what is that message in conclusion, really? The message is these cuts are unnecessary. We don't want to see the cut of one job. We don't want to see one a closure of one office. The reality is there's no need for these cuts. And if we accepted the necessity for cuts, what we're really saying is cut her job, cut his job, but don't cut mine. And that's the road to division and defeat. There is an alternative. It's not even a revolutionary socialist alternative. It's a very simple alternative. The radical notion that we pay our taxes, the rich should pay their taxes too. Instead of cutting jobs, they should be creating jobs. And even on that basis, uh, we would be able to protect uh, the public services. These people are barbarians. And from that point of view, we've got to do everything we possibly can to stop them. Well, can we stop them? Just down the road in Newport, that will be passed on my way home to Bristol tonight. As uh, last October, they said they were going to close the passport office. Just last week, uh, or the week before rather, they've said that they're going to keep half of those jobs to 2013. Now I want to make it absolutely clear that's not good enough. We're going to protect every job in Newport, we're going to protect uh, the passport service in Newport, but we're going to protect every job in Swansea, every job in Cardiff, Glasgow, Birmingham, everywhere. But that means sticking together, it means building a type of widespread coordinated industrial action that we're capable of doing in June the 30th. And if we do that, and those unions who are not going to strike this time will join us in the autumn. We'll see three, four, five million workers out in strike. Let me tell you this, I love to read Thatcher years. This isn't Thatcher, this is not the Thatcher government. We can't defeat them, but we stick together. We stick together in our workplaces and our, and our communities. We're going to stop these people. Thank you.